Hey everybody, what's up? It's Brickman. Today I'm going to be giving y'all a tutorial on DVD Styler. Now, DVD Styler is a free DVD burning software, and um, in my opinion, it's the best free DVD burning software there is. Um, it's a very professional software. You can do a lot of stuff with it and make really nice DVDs. So there's a link to download it in the description below. It's uh, cleared by Norton Internet Security. It's 100% safe. And once you download it, uh, it should create a shortcut on the desktop. So let's open it up. Okay, and by default, this welcome window will appear. You can choose to have it not come up again, but I like it, so I'll keep it on. Disk label is, uh, you can only use 32 characters for this. This is just what DVD burners uh, and ROM drives will recognize it as, so I'll just call it my DVD example. Okay, all these default settings are fine. Video format depends on where you live in the world. Um, um, NTSC. Aspect ratio, um, I like HD, so 16 to 9. Audio format, MPEG 2 is good. Okay. Uh, title selection and chapter selection. Title selection is, um, for example, if you have multiple videos on your DVD. So, like, if you have a season with a bunch of episodes in it, this will allow you to choose which episode you want. Chapter selection is if you have a single, um, single video to allow scene selection in it. So caption, call it the same thing. Okay, I usually do no template because I like to use my own custom background normally, but just for this I'll use the default. Okay, and all those ones you saw there you can also choose right here. So um, then I move this up and you can right click it and go align to center of menu horizontally, and that'll line it up there. Double click it, it'll open up the properties. Do a lot of stuff here. Um, usually doesn't look good if you do too many of these, but I'll just uh, do a few to show you what they look like. Fill color, make it red. And let's go background, yellow, okay. Shadow, we'll make gray. Font, you can choose a few different things in font size, 27 is fine. Uh, font style, let's just go regular. And uh, for the font, terminal looks cool. Okay, okay, there we go. Looks pretty nice. Okay, so uh, here, since we are on title selection, uh, it's set on play all, but you can make it anything you want. If you double click it, right here you can change the text or whatever you want. Play all is fine for this, and uh, we can change the font up in here a bit. We can make it terminal like the other one, and uh, text color we can make it red. And uh, okay, so we can do the same thing for this one. It's a lot of good stuff you can do with this software. Okay, we can align these wherever we want them. Okay, so um, now uh, you can choose a custom background by going to File Browser. And uh, this is one I have for one of my upcoming series. Then line up well with this. I have everything on here on that DVD menu, but that's just to show you. You can use your own. You always want to make them... Um, 1920 by 1080 pixel for HD and um, 640 by 40, 480 pixel for uh, standard definition. Okay, so uh, or let me just uh, go back to one of these. All right, now uh, down here you can choose which menu you're on. This one will be uh, all your different uh, titles. So uh, if you go play all, you can double click that. It'll Put it to title set one, title one. Now you see there's an asterisk because there is no title in here. But title sets are just um, sections where videos are stored. You could have every video in its own title set or mixed up however you want. It's good to navigate them. I'll tell you why uh, a little later. Um, but title sets are good to know. There's an asterisk here because the title isn't in here. But uh, play all titles. You can do single title set, which would be just the videos in that title set. Or all title sets would just be all, every video on the DVD. Okay, so uh, you can see that that's what that jumps to. Select title. It's going to jump it to VMGM 
menu too, which you can see is right here. Um, and we don't want to play any titles. So we just want to bring us to a menu. So here you can see, uh, now, uh, you can keep this like this. You can do any kind of alignment you want to make this look how you want. I am, uh, let's see, put it like that. I am going to, um, I have a layout I usually do. I'll, uh, delete these arrows. This is my standard layout I usually go by. Delete. Delete, okay, these are fine. But, um, I usually, okay, buttons. Little house. That's what I use to go back to the home menu. Double click that, and we'll have this jump to VMGM menu 1, which is this menu. Okay, and we can make this red for uh, normally when it's highlighted you can make it yellow and when it's selected for that brief second we can go turquoise okay i won't do a shadow okay and that'll bring you back to that menu then for the arrows i usually use this arrow now to make it go both ways i'll uh this would the only reason i'll use the arrow would be if i had another page of these so that would be a lot of videos on here but uh Open up this uh, outline color. Get rid of the outline. Same thing. Okay, and there you go. And that would be next. Now, if you need it to go back, like if you uh, once you're on the next page, if you need to have one to go back, if you get this little hand and there was okay then you can rotate there we go let's get straight there we go no, still not quite there okay and that would you could put that right there or wherever but, okay so um then these once you import your different videos or chapters if you're on chapter selection these will uh jump either to that chapter or to that video. Now to set your chapters, go to configuration and settings, and uh, one minute is pretty good for most stop motions. If you have like a real three hour movie, then probably 10 or 15 minutes for every chapter. And uh, so that's pretty much it for the menus. You can also add uh, audio to your menus. If you right click on a menu and go to properties or double click it, you can go to uh, audio, select whatever audio you want. And then uh, I usually do a loop, that way when the audio ends it goes back to the beginning again. Okay, we can do a different one for this one. Alright, then you'll have music. And you can also make a video of your background, because it actually uh, always uses a video. Whenever you use an image, it actually plays the image as a video and just loops it constantly. So you can use a video if you want to. So, um, that, uh, you can also, uh, if you go to DVD and options, you can, uh, change any of these settings you made if you don't like them. And, uh, what I'm not very good at yet trying to learn is, uh, how to create videos before the menu appears. There is a way. I've done it once. I, uh, need to tweak it a little more, get it just right, but there is a way to do that. Um, so, uh, once you're ready to burn it, or to open your videos, obviously, go to add file here, and choose any video you want. Okay, I'll just use this one. Alright, and then you can see it, uh, there's only one chapter for this, because it's a very short video. You might have seen it on my channel. And, uh, then you can create your videos to burn it. When you're ready to burn, you can go to burn right here, put a, uh, disc in your DVD ROM drive. And um, then it'll burn. When you go to burn, you can preview it. I've never learned how to preview it. Uh, every media player I've used on my computer doesn't work. Uh, by default, it uses this VLC media player, which you have to download. Maybe that'll work. You can try it. Um, I just usually don't preview because um, if as long as you're really thorough in making your DVD, chances are you won't make any big mistakes or anything that you have to change. So um, then you can do start, and that will burn your video. I'm not going to burn this one because this is just an example. And you can see there's also a bunch of buttons here you can choose. You can uh, use any of these buttons. And any button does anything. I mean, most 
are preferably used for something like house, typically we go back to the main menu, but technically any button can do anything. And also, let's say if you want to have like a name for each scene. You could put a little space here if you want to have a little more room. You could create some uh, some text under here. And text that wouldn't be buttons where it, it'll do something if you press it, just plain text like we have uh, right here. You can go right click, add, and then text. And you can type in your text. Scene 1. Uh, and you can do scene two, scene three, or whatever names you want. That, that would probably be better than this, but again, this is just an example. You could do them under each one. You can, uh, let's say you want to have, uh, you can do some more text. This is uh, chapter selections. We can go chapters. Okay, and you can make this one a little bigger, maybe, at the top. You can align it like we did the other one. Okay, and you could also align to the center of the menu as well. You go vertically, but um, I usually put it at the top, so I go horizontal. Okay, and uh, that's uh, I think that's pretty much everything. You can also play around with the software. There's a, a few other features that you can do. You can, uh, like I said, you can do a video for your background if you want. You can uh, so um. I think that's pretty much everything, but uh, play around with it, get a feel for the software. It's a really good software, and um, like I said, you can. They also have a bunch of default templates if you don't feel like making your own. But uh, it's very simple to make your own. Just make sure that's um, 1920 by 1080 pixels for HD or 60, uh, 640 by 480 for standard. That's what'll look the best. And uh, you can go to help, and they have uh, you know, the about, get the uh, version number and everything. You can also go to uh, contents. It'll give you a little quick start guide. There's a uh, very useful software. A lot of stuff you can do on it, and uh, I find it creates very professional-looking DVDs. So, um, hope this you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out a lot in making your own uh, DVDs. And um, I'll uh, make my next brick film soon, so stay tuned for that. So I'll see y'all later. Okay, so there's a few things I forgot I want to show you. One is um. Explaining title sets a little more. Let me open up a uh, video here. Okay. And this creates title set one. You can also um, go back to uh, go back and cr uh, open another video. See, that'll put it in the same title set. But if you want to put it in a separate title set, you can, uh, once you have videos imported, you can go to add title set. That'll create another title set. And then once that title set is selected, you can go here and import another one. See, that puts it in this title set. Okay, and then if you want to create a, uh, another menu, you can uh, right-click and go Add Menu. Okay, and that'll put it in that title set. If you want to create a uh, another VMGM menu, you can right-click in here Go add the MGM menu. It will create a third one in there. And if you don't have any uh, title sets or titles open, you can just go add out here menu, and it'll create it in this VMGM one here. Since we have videos, we have to uh, right-click in the VMGM we're in and go VMGM menu. So um, so that's everything. So uh, again, yeah, I hope you this helped you out. Hope this um, uh, helps you create some really good DVDs because these are really uh, good software. So I'll see y'all later.